Ba ba da ba ba. Wee! Oh, that felt good. Why, hello everybody out there on YouTube. It's your boy Maxwell coming to you with another video review. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at none other than the Transformers Collaboration 2020 Special Back to the Future crossover 35th Anniversary Gigawatt. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we're going to take a look at the packaging. And in this case, I'm keeping the packaging. This is going up on my wall. So... Yeah, we got the box for Gigawatt, as we can see here. Up here, up towards the top, we got the Transformers Heroic Autobot. More than meets the eye. Back to the future 35th anniversary. And here we got the special collaborative More Than Meets the Eye 2020 Transformers collaboration. We got the Autobots insignia. We got the DeLorean. Here we got a lovely picture there of Gigawatt in his robot mode. Gigawatt. They went with the classic style of Hasbro sign for ages 8 and up. Here we go at the top with the four-step transformation. It's a little bit more than that. On this side of the box, we just got uh, Gigawatt in his, in his robot and vehicle mode. On the bottom of the box, we just got words, barcodes, and Transformers Authentic. Transformers Collaborative. We got Gigabot Watt. And on the back of the box, we've got we've got the 35th anniversary Back to the Future thing there, along with the Transformers, more than meets the eye, as well as his tech specs, if you want to read that. And you can read that in multiple different languages. And here we've got his tech specs. If you can read that, if you can decode that, because we can't obviously see the blue. Now, I saved this back part for last because here is an homage to the original movie with regards to the DeLorean being backed out. And this is the exact side I opened the packaging from because on this side here, it actually opens down like so as the packaging, as it was, as if it was the uh, trailer for Doc's trailer. So that's pretty cool. So hooray for the packaging. We'll take that and put that off to the side. Not going to yeet that. I'm keeping the box. And, of course, we'll bring Gigawatt right back into frame here and get him down to the ground level. Boop. Here we go. And here we have Gigawatt in his vehicle mode. And, oh, my, I love this figure. So let's get in closer so we can take a look at some of the detailing that is on Gigawatt here. Here he is stylized after the Back to the Future DeLorean. He's got lots of wiring details and decals. He's got a nice, uh, what looks like stainless steel uh, front part of the of his on his hood section here. He's got uh, black tinted transparent uh, windshields. Although for mine, for some odd reason, it's darker on this side than it is on this side. Oh well, what you gonna do? Ordered it online. Get what you got. And yeah, just all around, really nice figure. Um, something to be to note though for this figure is at least for my copy. I, I I haven't really paid too close attention to other reviewers and their copies, but at least on my copy, it seems as though mine has some permanent marker decaling on him. I don't know. It came out of the packaging like. Here we got some more back on the back with his wiring and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Uh, here we got the here's the top, here's the bottom. He got visible head syndrome is right there. Um, but anyone who knows this mold will know that this is a heavily retooled version of the Siege sideswipe figure. So yeah, um, he's got uh, four wheels, and so he can roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And before we get into comparisons, I'm going to show off all of the accessories that come with him because all of them can actually play into his vehicle mode. So to get started off with, this first accessory is his blaster. And so here we've got his blaster, and this kind of just looks like Optimus Prime's blaster. 
not gonna lie. And at least according to what the package says, it shows it's supposed to be black. But eh, I don't care. It, it's a gun. It's a gun with some nice level of decaling and detailing on here. And it does have a place for storage here in vehicle mode. You just flip them under and here we got the port here. You just take the gun and you just slide it in there and it's a nice snug fit. And it's high enough up that it does not hinder the rolling. So hooray for that. Here we've got his next accessory, which is the hook thing from the first movie, which you literally, where there's a plug right here, right on the top section here. And you just take this and you just fit it into such. So he can now hook the power line so Marty can go back to the future. Uh, so here you got that. We can take that. We can leave it on him, but I'm going to take this one off because now it's time for his next accessory, which is the Mr. Fusion bit of it to give him his Back to the Future 2 and 3 look. And that just, ha there's a little post right in here that goes into this port here. Now, there has been one major flaw with this figure from what I have seen from across the spectrum with Gigawatt here. That being the Mr. Fusion section. Oh, wow. That's the best it's held on. Huh. Does not, well, as a general rule of thumb, I've been noticing with a lot of people and their reviews is that the Mr. Fusion section of it does not always like to stay tabbed in. Here, we're going to bring that in so we can see. Man, that's a lot of nice detailing on here. So, but yeah, it does not always like to stay tabbed in. Oh, wow. I actually had to use a little bit of force. So, but there we go. Of course. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, it... There, see, there. Now, now, now that now, now that I'm actually going into showing it off, it's not wanting to stay tabbed in very properly. But oh well, what you gonna do? So we'll leave the Mr. Fusion section on here for now. Put him off to the side, and now for some comparisons. To start off with, we're gonna compare him off to Titans Return Legends Class Brawn. So we can see the difference between a deluxe class figure and a legends class. So here we got that. Here we have them next to Titans Return Astro Train. So there we've got that. Here he is next to deluxe class, the last night premiere edition, Cogman. See how that looks out. And yeah, definitely, definitely deluxe class. And for the whole sake of it, because this is my channel, I'll do it how I want. Here he is next to Merc or um, Octones Titan Master. So we can see Titan Masters are just about the right size to look as for the human role of things. So there we got that. Here he is next to Lego C-3PO. So if you happen to have the old, either the Lego Dimensions or as my one of my next comparisons will be, the figures will work just perfectly for this as well. And speaking of my next comparison, now for the remainder of my comparisons. Hey, Astro Train, get out of the way. This video is not about you. Now for the duration of this video, at least for the next few comparisons, we're going to just be comparison, comparing him to some of my other DeLoreans. Here he is next to the mo one of the most recent De Bat Hot Wheels DeLoreans to have come out recently with rubber tires and stuff. And we can see just how much they've, yeah, kick, still keeping it in scale. And as you can see in my other hand here, here we've got the other one. So here we've got Gigawatt next to two other DeLoreans. We got that. Ooh, nice little one. 
Here they are next to the Playmobil, yes, Playmobil DeLorean. <laughs> we can definitely see difference in size there. Stay on there. There we got that. And then last but certainly not least, the Lego what was Cusco, but now is Ideas uh, DeLorean with Doc and Marty. And we can see, oh man, these these two here just are mm, for me. Just, just mwah, I, I do that whole French kissing of the lip. Kiss pinch thing. Because I've wanted a DeLorean Transformer for a very long time. And I wanted a Lego DeLorean set. Oh, these are just so cool. So cool. So there you go. Now, there's only one last thing to show off with regards to his vehicle mode. That being the fact that he does have the Back to the Future 2 flight mode thing. And we're going to show that off and then get into transformation. I'm going to start off by taking that thing off. It just gets in the way. So... Like I said, he does have the flight mode, and his wheels can fold in. Now, you do have to be mindful these front wheels are on double hinges due to the transformation. But there you go. Now, and he does have a... He does have a small little stand port here, which if you had a flight stand, you can plug him into, and it looks like the DeLorean is flying, which is a very cool thing in my opinion and now he can slide across the table he goes slidey slide anyway yeah, let's fold his wheels back up and now let's now that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode the only th thing that's left to share and i'll share that when we get into the transformation is the doors so let's get into the transformation shall we <laughs> let's woo. good spin out of him okay now the last thing to share with this, which also is important to the transformation, are the doors. The doors can actually open up to the sides like that, like how they d do in the movie, which is pretty cool and doesn't reveal anything, but oh well. So we're going to leave him up for that and get on with the rest of the transformation. Next off, we're going to actually take out his gun and put that off to the side. From there, we want to take the front wheels and fold them down on the first set of hinges and leave them like so for now. From there, we want to come to these sides here and underneath this hood section here, there's this small little panel thing. We want to untab that and that just has this tab that goes into this slot here. Flip it around and it'll click into place like so. And do the same on the other side. There we go. Um, from there, we want to pull his arms out, like so, and flip his hands out, rotate him at the waist, open up these panels here, and flip out his legs. Take the sections that are the uh, time exhaust port things and flip them down and bring them down. They'll go into the legs and actually flip out his feet. Finish bringing them down, separate the legs and close this panel back. up. And there you got his lower body all done. So now we'll just bring up the camera a little. There we go. Um, from there, we want to finish bringing in these wheels on their joints here and bring the hood section down and this just tabs in with this tab into the slot right behind his head bring it down and right around here you want to un you want to start to turn around this panel which becomes his chest section and turn that around and it doesn't really tab in anywhere it just kind of flips around and then just bring this down and then this tab here will go into a slot right in his waist and bring out his arms a little bit because after we get that tabbed into place, his arms have a tab right in here that go into the slot right here. So just quick tab.
that into place and tab that into place. And are we done? Yes, yeah, I think we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. So here we've got Gigawatt in his robot mode. And I've got to say, I, I, this is my first time ever actually doing anything with regards to the the side swipe mold, the siege side swipe mold. And I got to say, I'm not disappointed. I am not disappointed in the least. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at some of the detailing. So first off here, we're going to take a look at his head. There's his noggin. That's a beautiful noggin. He's got big goggles to make it look like he's, well, Doc. Here we got the chest section here, and where where we got the date of the movie, October 26, 1985, October 21st, 2015, and November 12th, 1955. Yeah, and that uh, stainless steel kind of looking appearance trans uh, transitioned over, and here we got his legs, and it looks like he's got flux capacitors on his knees, and he, he does have the flux capacitor, I forget, failed to mention that, on his chest, which is pretty cool. And all around, just mm -hmm. yep. Yep. there we go. Just all around, a really cool, nice figure. I really like how they did this guy. So articulation: his head is on a ball joint, so he can go from it can go from side to side, and he can look up. He can't really look up, but he can look down. Arms can rotate here. Uh, the back wings do kind of get in the way, so you do have to be mindful of that. It can go in and out. There is a bicep swivel. You got 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow, and the wrists turn in for, for due to transformation, but at least according to the box, that is articulation. He does have a waist swivel. Legs can go forward that far and they can go back that far can do a full split he does have thigh rotation he's got less well under 90 degrees of bend there at the feet um, feet can go up or down but they do tilt so hooray for tilting so there we got that and so now what we can bring in his accessories to start off with. Here we've got his whip thing here, which has a five millimeter port plug thing. And it's made out of a, I forgot to mention this, it's made out of a soft rubber material. Um, there's a couple different things you can do with this. Um, of course, for storage purposes, if you don't want him holding it, he does have two ports here on his wings. So here and here. So if you wanted to, you can plug the whip in onto either side. Um, you can also feel free to plug it in onto his forearm or he can hold it into his hand, not very readily. But according to the box, it's supposed to be on his arm like so. Now we bring in his gun here and now, and we bring in the Mr. Fusion. Now this can store in one of two different places on the gun. You can store it on the back section here and this just and this holds in very well securely it's kind of got clips in here oh there goes the gun clips here and up here that hold on to the gun and so you can hold it like so and then you can hold his gun but on here it on this section here it doesn't really tab in very securely into his hand so what I, generally speaking, will do... Wait a minute. I'm just noticing he's got these tilts in his hand. Nope. That don't do nothing. Okay. Um, what I generally do is, if he's holding the gun in his hands, I will usually just take this and plug it up right here on top. If There we go. Up on top here, and then he can hold it like so and so he can go pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang if he so desire or if you really want him to hold it he can or if you don't want him holding it and you want his arm free you can do the whole megatron fusion cannon arm mount thing which also 
works and looks good too. Now, something else you can do, and I may be the only reviewer to point this out, out of all the reviews I've seen, is if you don't have this whip on his arm, like so, what you can also do with the Mr. Fusion piece is it's actually big enough and the ar his arm pegs are hexagonal. You can take this and plug it into his forearm. Yes, you have another means of storage and it becomes a watch. So he can pull the whole looking at the watch spiel thing, which and when it's hold when it's like that, you can actually still have his whip attached to his arm. So that is pretty cool if you ask me. And so we're gonna just quick put Gigawatt here off to the side. And now for comparison. Start off with with compare here he is next to Legends class Brawl, Brawn, yeah, it's not Brawl, Brawl's a Decepticon. So you can get a sense of how that's going to work out. And here he is next to Deluxe class Cogman, so we can see how those two look together. And they look pretty good side by side, if I do say so myself. So we got that. Cogmen, not cog. Blech. It's cogmen. Here he is next to Voyager class. Oops. Titans return Astro Train. So we can see how that looks. Here he is next to Titan Master Merc. Here he is next to the Lego Hulkbuster from Age of Ultron. Because this is my review! Woohoo! Put him off to the side. Here he is next to Lego C3PO. Here, and now for a couple of Back to the Future comparisons. Is next to the Playmobil Doc Brown, so you can get a sense of scale that wise. Um, looks like my whole video is going to be crooked a little bit. Oh well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boy? Sorry. So here we got that. And last but certainly not least, here we have him next to Lego, Doc, and Marty. We can see how the best scaling, at least for what I have in my collection, will work. So, there you go! That's been my video review of the Transformers Collaborative Back to the Future Gigawatt. A very good and very fun figure. Not without its faults. The whole Mr. Fusion piece eh, gets, like, gets to be a little bit of a nightmare. The permanent marker thing has me thrown off a little bit. But you know what? Because of the fact that this is a Walmart.com exclusive thing, as well as, I believe, GameStop, it's going to be hard to say and or tell. Just use caution, but enjoy him nonetheless. He's a very fun figure, and in my opinion, well worth it. So, I think that will just about do it. So... Again, this has been my video review for Gigawatt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be certain to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with whomever you think might like it, and check me out on social media. There will be, of course, links in the description down below. And I think that will just about do it. So until next time, fun people, this is Maxwell signing off. Camera fall down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Doc, doc. You mean to tell me you built a time machine out of a Cybertronian? The way I see it, Marty, if you're going to build a time machine, 
Why not do it with a guy who can change his style? Why did I get myself roped into this? Oh, why?